Hello, how is everyone? Uh, yeah, it's been a while as I say, and it's been a very long time since I've uh, done an experience report of any kind. Mainly because I'm running out of substances uh, to use, obviously. And, um, yeah, I can't uh, get a hold of research chemicals anymore because they're prohibited from entry into my country, so... Uh, yeah, I can't get them delivered to my country anymore because, no, they just don't have that option. So, I mean, I might take some neurotropics or some strange substances that aren't really regarded as illegal yet, but, or prescriptions or something. But for now, I'm, I'm pretty well short of uh, the possibility of making that material. So, if anyone in another country wants to host me for a while, uh, <laughs> I'll buy some shit with you and take it with you and we'll do the reports together if you want. But, yeah, sorry for that. It's been a very long time. Uh, I may not be making videos like that for a while. But that's that's not the purpose of this video. The purpose of this video is to do a coca leaf uh, experience report. Oh, excited. It's been a while. Also, it was scared. Okay, so, as you know, I've been in South America for a few months now. And whilst I was here in South America, uh, I tried some of their herbal stuff. Uh, a lot of their food is delicious, actually. A lot of it's pretty bad quality as well, though. And most of it's great and shit. And, um, yeah, I, I got to try some coca leaves whilst I was out here. Uh, I didn't really know what to expect, because obviously I've taken cocaine, and that's, uh, that's definitely a drug. I would definitely describe it as a drug, but... Coca leaves, I'm not so sure. Um... I put that halfway between a medicine and a drug, to be honest, so, how do I explain it? There are different levels of taking coca leaves, a lot of people will tell you, uh, you chew coca leaves and you're mildly stimulated and it's nothing like cocaine, well, it really depends on the amount uh, you, you chew, if you, st if you chew a small amount, maybe three or four coca leaves continuously, it'll give you a very mild stimulation, if you chew 12, it'll give you a bit more than a mild stimulation, but not much more, if you line your entire friggin jaw full of uh, coca leaves it's kind of on par with cocaine actually if, if you're eating about 40 or 50 coca leaves at once it's actually a hell of a lot of coca leaf uh, and it's quite a bit of cocaine i would say so i do have different levels of experience with this uh, I've, I've taken it to its highest level and uh, i've taken it at much lower levels uh, it can produce effects quite similar to cocaine uh, at much higher levels at lower levels, uh, you feel the sort of same feeling you get from cocaine a little bit, but it's a lot more relaxed, it's a lot more subtle, and it's a much better experience actually, you know, mainly because it's used medicinally and uh, it works medicinally, you know, much more than cocaine would for the same things, because there are various minerals and uh, other things inside of coca leaf. Coca leaf is extremely, or well not extremely bitter, extremely bitter is a bit, it's bitter, it's a bitter leaf, it's not extremely bitter, but it's not, uh, you know, a little bitter, it's it's in between very bitter and a little bitter, it's it's bitter, it's definitely bitter, it's be definitely sour is coca leaf, but uh, you can taste an earthiness uh, to it, you can tell, you can tell that it's got a stimulant type substance in it, uh, people who've taken a lot of stimulants will understand what I mean. And your dopamine receptors know, uh, the first time I took coca leaf since it had been a while since I'd already taken any stimulants other than methylphenidate or cocaine specifically, um, when I first chewed about 4 or 5, I was actually quite high, but only for about a minute or two, uh, like the rush of cocaine, but with cocaine you're quite high for about 5 to 10 minutes and then you start getting a bit less high for another 10, 15 minutes and then it pretty much starts petering off from there. From except on really high doses, obviously. Um, but with this, yeah, I was mildly high for about uh, two or three minutes, maybe at max, um, while I was eating, you know, three or four leaves. And I felt a nice kind of feeling of calm and tranquility uh, with these leaves. Um, only problem was about uh, half an hour later or 45 minutes later when the effects came out, I did have a mild headache and uh, mild dysphoria as well, similar to uh, kind of withdrawing of cocaine. But I enjoyed this, because uh, it kind of brings you, um, I don't know, an insightful, strange uh, state of mind. A, a little reminiscent of uh, tripping, just just a little. Who the fuck is drilling now? 
fucking noises all the time in South America. I'm going to continue. It's going to be a shit quality video, but I'm just going to talk much fucking louder than this is going off. So yeah, basically at the lower doses, uh, don't expect too much, but uh, you know, it, it produces something and it's nice. At uh, the medium level dose, um, you start feeling a bit more than just understanding it's there, you're understanding it's there and you've got energy. This will last for about 3 or 4 minutes. This is about 12 to 14 uh, leaves. If you start taking from 15 to uh, 30 or 40 leaves, which is a fucking lot of leaves, if you can fit that in your mouth, good luck. You're probably going to be quite high, it's probably going to be quite similar to uh, a small dose of cocaine actually. Um, and it'll last about 10 minutes, you know. And the thing with this is, um, you don't have to do it the same way with, co with cocaine. You gotta wait, you gotta dose, you gotta sniff. And it's it's rapid and it lasts for a while, right? But with this stuff, um, you take it, you chew it, and you take it out of your mouth. And you, you know, you can chew some more. You can buy it here for like uh, a full bag like this. It's probably like, what, 40, 50 coca leaves. About 25 uh, pence or about 30 cents in US dollars. So for about a dollar you can buy, uh, you could probably buy a bag about, yeah, about half the size of my head would probably contain about 200, 250 leaves. So yeah, it's pretty reasonable to do here. Uh, but um, aside from giving you a mild cocaine buzz, um, the withdrawal is actually more severe than cocaine I find. Uh, but it's a lot more short-lived. Uh, for example, when I'd done it uh, for a whole two days and I stopped, I felt shit for about two or three hours, fell asleep, woke up and I was fine. Whereas, had I done, been doing cocaine hard for two or three days, uh, I'd be fucked for a whole day the next day. I'd be fucked for two hours sleep, wake up feeling fucked, and become gradually less fucked during the day. It's a bit more intense though, initially, initially. For the first 30 minutes, it's actually quite an intense withdrawal. But, I find that, you know, after when I wake up, I feel much better than I did the day before when I was actually on coca leaves, when I was actually ingesting them. So, yeah, it's it's a strange one. If you can enjoy the bitterness and uh, the short but acute withdrawal, it's it's really nice. But more, more, more what's more with this is uh, it's useful medicinally out here because in Bolivia, for example, and in Peru, where it's used quite commonly, there's a lot of places that are high altitude, and this really, really alleviates uh, altitude sickness. If you have uh, headaches or any kind of pain, uh, I've seen this th with the children, they have get the children to chew them, or they lick, they bite uh, the, the coca leaf a little bit, they lick uh, the coca leaf or put saliva on the coca leaf, and they attach it to their head or wherever they're feeling pain, and it numbs it temporarily. But if it's just, you know, a temporary headache, by the time the effects finish, you know, you've got the slight withdrawal and you're good to go. Whereas sometimes with headaches, uh, the psychological or whatever, they might last for like four to six hours. And with with um, with the pressure out here or the high altitude, um, you'll feel very ill. But uh, if you're chewing coca leaves constantly in the high altitude, you don't feel it. And it gives you a, a false energy. But yeah, I would say it changes something in you physically and does, does just counteract the... Uh, altitude sickness somewhat. I don't know how that works, but I've experienced this myself. Uh, I also found that um, I feel healthier after the ingestion, and I think this is because they actually have a lot of minerals in the leaves as well. I don't think it's just coca, the cocaine, uh, the drug in there, because the next day, uh, like I said, I feel a lot better, or a few days later, I feel a lot better than I did uh, before I did the cocaine and uh, whilst I was on the uh, co co coca. So, yeah, it's quite useful in this sense. Uh, and obviously, yeah, people attach it to themselves and use it for a lot of illnesses. It's it's actually very uh, very useful stuff. It's cheap as hell, and there's an ab there's there's an abundance of it here. So, yeah, I like it. Um, I had coca leaf tea once, but it was tea that I bought uh, in Australia. It's completely legal in Australia, by the way. But. Um, yeah, it didn't do very much to me. It gave me more the sort of mental high that I get uh, from a very, very, uh, that I expect from a very, very small amount of cocaine, but none of the physical stuff for some reason. It was bitter, but it didn't really do much, so, uh, yeah, I can't say that for much for that. I do know that they sell uh, soaps, Japon, 
e other cos uh, and other other things uh, made from coca out here. I've, I've stopped speaking in Spanish. But um, yeah, I haven't tried these yet. But there are all kinds of medicinal blends for these, and it's it's used. It's very common use uh, in certain parts of Peru. Uh, apparently, it's very very common in Bolivia, but I wouldn't know this. In Peru, uh, it's it's quite common in uh, Peru and Puna in uh, Peru. It's it's very common in Peru. It's not that common in Lima, the city of Lima, but Lima's a, a different. It's it's different to the rest of Peru. The rest of the Peru, this. It's quite common and it's a good practice. I I like it. And also, yeah, I don't know. There's there's something about taking it its natural form that's quite intriguing uh, as a comparison. Uh, the only thing I'd say about this is uh, I don't know. Uh, I feel as though maybe there's something other than cocaine or other alkaloids similar to cocaine in coca leaf. Or there is some other alkaloid uh, responsible for the different uh, feelings that I have whilst when I'm uh, ingesting cocaine and when I'm taking coca leaf. I feel like there's some other medicinal properties uh, within the leaves um, that are present. There's something else within the leaves other than just uh, the alkaloids of cocaine or coca alkaloids as well. I feel as though there's another analgesic uh, in there. Obviously, uh, it's easy for you to say, oh, well, no, you're just saying that because you're getting the analgesic effects of cocaine and it's numbing you. I know this. But I feel as though there's another analgesic or several analgesics in uh, coca leaves. And I think there's actually, there might be something to be learned from uh, making extracts from coca leaf. Not cocaine extracts, uh, other extracts, I mean, um, looking at the alkaloids. But I, I haven't done the research on this. This is speculation. Um, this is what I feel physically from taking it. Uh, I'm, I'm probably going to research in a few days or a few months after uh, this day and this video now because I'm a bit curious uh, to see what alkaloids are in it and to see if it's just an effect of maybe the minerals that uh, makes it feel different. But I remember as well it was useful um, when I was on the floating islands I felt a bit weird uh, floating. I wasn't so good. I didn't have much energy. I'm ingesting these for the time I was on them. Yeah, it was good. It, it helped me out. It relieved my uh, anxieties and my worries for a while. Uh, coca leaves, um, I mean, cocaine, for example, isn't a permanent solution to anxiety. But if it was as, as cheap as coca leaves, maybe it would be. <laughs> uh, because, I mean, I could pay a uh, dollar a day and pretty much have a day's worth of uh, coca leaves out here instead of buying cocaine. It seems smarter to me. Anyways, I don't have much more to say about coca leaves. They're quite cool. It was awesome to see them in their natural form. Uh, but yeah, I hope you enjoyed my experience report. Uh, the highlight of this is uh, they're quite good. It's easy to regulate um, your level of uh, intoxication than it is with cocaine. Uh, that's harmful and a little better for you for, for the minerals as well. But, you know, it can be just as potent. There's a little word of caution. And... Um, yeah, you know, it's it's still a drug if you're having a lot of it a lot of the time, you know, just be aware of that. But yeah, thanks for watching, I hope you enjoy, and have a nice day in lives.